Hello guys, I should can plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for this video, I bring you FSR4 on the RX 7000 series. And by the way, I am not just going to tell you about some video cards article and so on. I am in fact testing it on Linux, on Nobara 42 as you can see. And I already have some, some recordings of FSR4 on the 9060XT and the 7900XTX, for example, versus native versus FSR 3.1. And I'm gonna show you live FSR4 working versus native, FSR 3.1 and so on, so on, so on. And let me tell you that even though it's running on Linux with Vulkan, FSR4 is not ready yet to run on Vulkan. And on top of that, running on a car that isn't prepared for it, it runs quite well. Like to the sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Now, as for the installation process, one of the things that I don't like about the Linux community is that they aren't really, well, I wouldn't say that they aren't welcoming to new to new users because they really are. What I mean is that they, they are so into Linux that they believe that, the, um, that they don't really specify the basic things for Windows users to go into Linux. I tried this before and I wasn't able to do it. And it wasn't after I found this video passing right now on the screen that I was actually able to make it work. And again, it is way easier than it seems. And if you don't really want to wait for tomorrow's video or the follow-up video of how to install FSR4 on RDNA 3 on Linux, just watch this video passing right now on the screen. Because if it worked for me, it will most likely work for you as well. Now, as for the testing part, and again, all you have to do basically is just copy one file from, from FSR4 to the Windows file inside the Steam folder of that same game and so on. It's kind, it's kind of, um, it might seem really, really confusing for people that don't work with Linux, but it, it actually isn't. But yeah, that's basically what you have to do. Use the latest Meza experimental drivers. That's all, and then you just need to make sure that you are using the latest Proton GE or the, the, the Proton 4 Cache OS or Cache OS or whatever they call it, and it will work, okay? So don't really, don't worry, the process is quite simple. And on top of that, of course, you need to go to the, to the properties of the game that you want on Steam or in any, in any other launcher, to be honest, and you need to enable this FSR4 underscore upgrade equal one, common blah 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 and it will work but again let's start with um let's start with the alters yeah we can start with the alters we take off the the command here let's try for example fsr3 as you can see it shows fsr3 and fsr3 quality we go immediately to 90 fps okay 90 if you look for example at the the backpack you can see that even at 4k quality uh it seems kind of yeah it seems kind of blurred out and even though it isn't bad of course it isn't that great either and if we go to performance mode I'm pretty sure that we can get even more performance out of it performance mode works decently well not that much worse than the, um, than the FSR than the FSR quality mode by the way if you look at the radiation logo there you can see that it is shimmering and other things are shimmering but generally it works decently well. Now as soon as I go back here to the launch options after I've done all the previous steps of course of copying the FSR4 injection file I put the FSR4 upgrade equal one command again I press play and we're back to the settings now and here we have it AMD FSR4 performance mode as you can see the 7900 XTX 290 watts and FSR4 performance mode is enabled. Although we do have some issues and remember the FSR4 running on Linux and running especially with Vulkan is kind of a mod. It isn't official and that's why the, the, the quality and performance aren't good per se. So as you can see the performance mode Look at the shimmering, the shimmering is insane. And I tried this with several games and so on, and it seems that in like 90% of them, uh, it is only the quality mode that works decently well. And even with the performance mode, as you can see, FSR4 performance mode, we're only having 57, 58 FPS, and we're having, we were having so, so much more with FSR3 performance. But yeah, the quality isn't that good. Uh, actually, it's way worse than it was before. As soon as we go to the balanced mode, it gets considerably better. We still have a bit more shimmering that we would that, that we should have. And if you look, for example, yeah, it is working, but we do have lots of 
Yep. Lots of ghosting, which shouldn't happen, of course, meaning that it still isn't perfect and the FPS didn't increase a single thing. Again, I mean, it's, it's incredible. Again, look at this. Just 59 FPS, it won't go over it. It feels kind of a lock. As soon as we go to the quality mode, well, the quality mode is the only one that works decently well. I don't know if it is if it is due to coding or how they coded the, the FSR4, the, um, basically going from FP8 to FP16, but it is the only one that works decently well, and, and yeah, we don't really have that much ghosting, but in some case scenarios we still have some shimmering here and there. But for example, if you look at the backpack, if you look at the radiation logo now, it basically does not shimmer, meaning that again, we are running some kind of FSR4. Not the real FSR4, let's say. It doesn't work as well as it would on Windows, especially on the RX 9000 series. And as for the performance, I believe that people have been telling a lot that the performance is bad because it's running on RDNA 3, and it's not the case. Believe me, it's not the case. Of course, that in terms of performance gains, the performance gains will be much lower on RDNA 3 compared to RDNA 4 because in terms of, of tops performance and with FP8 and so on versus FP16 the, the performance that can be extracted out of the RX 9000 series in terms of upscaling AI quality is much much higher and that's the reason of course that the, um, that the RDNA 3 cards won't perform as well but not this bad and I'm pretty sure that the issues that we have in terms of performance aren't really related to that so RDNA 3 versus RDNA 4, but instead of that running it on Vulkan. Because as you know, FSR 4 is not ready to run on Vulkan yet, and that's one of the reasons why we don't have FSR 4 in, in Doom the Dark Ages yet. That's one of the reasons. So porting it to Vulkan will make it automatically run worse. And I tested it on the 9060XT that runs FSR 3 and FSR 4, pretty comparable in terms of, of, of performance on Windows, but as soon as we go to Linux, the performance difference is still huge, FSR 4 versus FSR 3, because again, FSR 4 is not prepared to work on, on Vulkan, and at the same time, it is kind of a mod. So I believe that if we were running with a 7900XTX with FSR 4 on Windows, the performance would be much, much better. And of course, the performance and the quality would also be much better, but we can still see that if we go quality mode versus quality mode, yeah, it is much better. Even looking at the backpack, I can see that the, um, I can see that we have some shimmering. That won't really happen with a normal FSR4, but at the same time, the clarity of the image is just much better, even with a modded FSR4 on RDNA 3. In case you want to try a different thing, we have the medium, which is one of the games that I like the most. Of course, it is not a fighting game. It doesn't bring many many um, combat options, it is more like a story-driven game from Blobber Team as well, but I actually enjoyed it. But what I want to get with this is that if you want to use OptiScaler, you can use OptiScaler as well. As you can see, the medium, we're now running FSR 3.1.3, but we do have the option to go 4.0.0. So it is there, I can use it, and again, this is a 7900XTX. As, as soon as I go change upscaler, it will take a bit of time, by the way. Um, that happens because it is kind of loading the injection and maybe the the hack for for to go to from FP8 to FP16. So it will take a bit of time, but it will work. As I told you now, FSR4 and uh, the black screen appears because I believe it's Vulcan, so it appears. So FSR3, FSR4. And as you can see, not only decreases the image quality, decreases, yes, you heard it right, decreases the image quality as it also decreases the performance a lot. So with FSR4 we have like 74 FPS and we have a lot of shimmering because again, I mean, this is a mod and FSR4 is not ready to work with Vulkan. As soon as we go to 3.1.3, .3, we immediately ramp up to 130 something. And by the way, even though that FSR4 is not working correctly, I can see that FSR4 brings a lot more clarity, like a lot more. I'm not even joking, the clarity difference is big. If we go to the LSS quality mode, because like I told you before, the performance mode doesn't seem to work very well, we have 100 FPS with FSR 3.1.3, which is not that bad actually, and in this case scenario the quality isn't bad, it is using the LSS inputs. As soon as I go to FSR 4, change upscaler, 
we immediately drop down to 60 FPS. Now, since we're running the quality mode, it is quite better. And if I look at the character's face, I can see that the clarity is better. But at the same time, we have, as you see, lots of ghosting and so on. So yeah, it shows that FSR 4 isn't working correctly on RDNA 3 in most case scenarios. So 69 FPS, 68, 69 FPS, no pun intended, as soon as we go to FSR 3.1.3, sorry. Bam much better and no more ghosting whatsoever. It is what it is. So just to conclude, FSR 4 is working with RDNA 3. It isn't perfect because overall this is kind of a mod. The developers of ProtonG and so on, they all work together. Several guys, some, some very no knowledgeable guys from the Linux community work together in order to put this to work. They, well, they put this to work and then they made it work and it does work with RDNA 4 and RDNA 3. Quality wise, Quality-wise, as soon as we go to, to um, the RDNA 4 cards, FSR 4 works fine quality-wise, but still works quite bad in terms of performance. So if we use the native cards for FSR 4, the 9000 series, the quality is great, it works fine, but the performance is just crap. Because again, I believe that FSR 4 is not ready for Vulcan yet, and that's why the performance is crap. In terms of RDNA 3 though, as soon as we go to anything below quality mode, usually it works pretty bad in most games that I tested. And the quality still isn't on par with FSR 4 on the RDNA 4 cards. But does that really matter? What matters here is that if the modders can port it and can make it work to a certain level, and I'm pretty sure that it will improve over time, it already did by the way, AMD can do it as well. AMD can make it work on Vulkan and AMD can make it work with RDNA 3. Again, it won't bring you the same performance boost that the RDNA 4 cards will because the AI performance is just, the matrix performance is just much, much lower. But again, it will work. It will. Just not as fast as you, you would expect in most cases. And well guys, that's all for this video again. A video of how to install FSR 4 on the RDNA 3 cards on Linux will come most likely tomorrow, follow up. And again, you can use it with OptiScaler, FSR4 with OptiScaler, but in most scenarios it won't work as intended. Again, it will bring even more ghosting than FSR 3.1.3, as you can see from the leaves and so on. And you can also use it for games that already have FSR 3.1. You can kind of force inject FSR4 and it works. You just need to go to copy some files, go to Steam and so on, but again, a follow-up video will come. That's all for this video guys, thank you very much, leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about the FSR4 implementation, letting me know if you really think that AMD will bring it to RDNA 3 cards because we now know that it's, it's possible so AMD needs to bring it and one of the things that I'm thinking is maybe AMD is really really hoping to release all the RDNA 4 cards first, so RDNA 4 like 9060, 9070 and maybe maybe from the rumors, maybe a 9080, now that Nvidia kind of screwed up in some departments, maybe a 9080 XT, and if that's the case scenario, I believe that they will wait to release all those cards in order to sell more because of FSR 4, and then they will bring FSR 4 to the RDNA 3 ones. But maybe I'm mistaken, who knows? Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.